You're about to meet a man who has done something a lot of scientists thought was impossible, living with wolves. Sean Ellis has spent years studying these animals. Now he's made an unexpected addition to his pack. It's part of a new series on Animal Planet called Living with the Wolfman. This is not the house I thought I'd be living in. These aren't the clothes I thought I'd be wearing. And this definitely isn't the life I thought I'd be leading. I was living my dream. I'd adapted my life to make a difference in theirs. I thought everything was perfect, but there was something missing. I've no idea if this will work. I admit, it's not the most normal life. But there's no other life I'd rather have. <laughs> and Sean Ellis is here along with Helen Jeffs. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Now, let me start with you, Sean. Mm -hmm. how, how did this whole living with wolves thing come to be for you? For me, it was, it was almost like a calling. From an early age, I'd always been brought up around animals, um, creatures that, that kind of came out at night, nocturnal creatures. And it was a, a steady progression up to wolves. And been with wolves ever since. Wolves yeah. Now, is this, a, do you keep a wolf sanctuary or is this out in the wild someplace? These are what we refer to as naturally enhanced wolves. It's a term many people haven't come across before. They're captively raised, uh -huh. but we've given them as much wild behavior as we possibly can to try and learn that natural resource that we haven't had before so we can help them in the wild how why how did the how and why do the wolves trust you because it looks like you're very much part of their pack are you part of the pack yeah it's it's a position you, every day you go in there it's a battle for that position you have to maintain your presence amongst them you have to eat foods that meet that social positioning right. if you steer off of that and have foods that we would eat cakes chocolates crisps, right. that kind of thing they, the respect for you from them goes down very, drops, very quickly. Drops yeah, immediately. Am amazingly, in a space of about a week. Okay, so you're out there living in your wolf sanctuary with these wolves, living as a wolf, <laughs> <laughs> and you meet Helen. <laughs> Helen, did you know what he was, what, 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 what he was up to? Yes, right. yeah, I did. So you knew about this? Yeah, right. yeah, definitely. And you fall in love? <laughs> yes. Right. But what would that, did you know what it meant to cross that bridge if you're going to say, well, I, you know, I really want to have a relationship with mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Did you know what it was going to mean having a relationship with wolves as well? <laughs> not at that point, no, absolutely not. Yeah. But um, wolves are amazing creatures and they touch you in such ways that people just wouldn't ever dream about. Yeah. And I think they draw you as much as obviously falling in love with a man that lives with a pack of wolves. <laughs> <laughs> what was your experience like when you first went out? into the sanctuary to spend time with these wolves. Terrifying. Really? Absolutely terrifying. Mm -hmm. I mean, Sean obviously gave me an immense amount of training. Right. Um, and like he said, that did go down to diet, fitness, all sorts of sacrifices. Right. So I was prepared when I went in there, but, yeah. you know, to enter. I mean, even to the point where there's a, there's a scene, I guess, in the show where you're, you chew up food and yeah. then you have to regurgitate it in order to feed, mm -hmm. feed one of the other wolves? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. To prove my nanny ship, really, to say that I could be a good nanny for the pups. Oh my! There, well, there's the pictures right there. <laughs> oh my lord! Well, <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> to the extent to which love will take us, I guess, is uh, there's a kind of a very interesting example. What, what do you hope to learn? What do you hope to prove by living this kind of existence? Mm. We needed secrets that only come from a family member. Wolves are like any other creature. They're not going to give up their secrets to anybody they can't trust, least of all humans. Mm. So in order for us to gain the knowledge that we feel we badly need to bridge this gap between the conflict between them and the farms and the ranches, right. we needed to get inside their pack. And that's the beauty of this series. It gives you a look beyond binocular, beyond scope. It right. takes you right there with a window of eight or nine inches. And yeah. this lady is down there feeding with snapping jaws that's feast and famine. And it's incredible. Do you have to go to the pack to get permission to get married? I mean, how do you, how no, does that work? I'm not sure with that one. I'm, I'm thinking the best man situation may be a little bit difficult for me, but I'm not. I gotta check with the alpha male. Absolutely. <laughs> well, Sean and Alan, when you do get married, please let us know, because oh. we want to, you know, we want to take some pictures That's of this. That's very kind. Fantastic. Terrific having you here. Thanks so much. For Thank you, you so much. much. Living with the Wolfman premieres Tuesday, October 21st at 10 p.m. on Animal Planet. Thank <laughs> you.